Hey guys, and welcome to game number 59 out of 100 of my Human vs. AI series, where I'm taking on the AI-powered Scrabblebot Best Spot in a 100 game match. We're currently at 26 wins, 32 losses through 58 games, so staying at 6 games behind the bot, which is roughly where we've been for it feels like quite a while, so hopefully as we near our 60th game of the series we can start breaking through and maybe, hopefully, evening it up pretty soon, but we will see. Obviously, Best Bot is going to very much have something to say about that plan. And let's see, our first rack here is pretty scoring heavy. We've got the Z, the K, as well as an F and a P. So, what are we going to do with it? I mean, obviously, a lot's going to depend on what the bot does. There aren't all that many long words with these tiles alone. Probably going to end up just playing Fizz, F-I-Z, or something like that. Maybe Zip, depending on what the bot does. Possibly Zipola, Z-I-P-O-L-A, if we get an A. But we'll see. Like I said, it's going to depend a lot on what the bot does, so let's wait and see. All right, the bot, after thinking for almost two minutes, has finally settled on A-I for four. So, what do we make of that? It's, uh, it's peculiar, because normally, at least conventional wisdom among top human experts is that when you have a two-tile play like that that's both vowels so that you're putting a vowel next to one of the double letters, you're better off just exchanging those two tiles because for only four points between giving your opponent two vowels as possible floaters for bingos as well as the two vowels to overlap with with a potentially high scoring play, it's just not worth it and you'd be better off exchanging at that point at the expense of only four points. So interesting decision right off the bat by the bot, kind of like I said, going against what I think conventional wisdom would dictate pretty much regardless of the rack. And I need to decide now how do I want to respond. So, I mean, I have to imagine the bot is close to a bingo. It's not like the bot's setting up its Q with QI. I mean, that would make no sense. Like, the bot would just play QI immediately. This is too unlikely to stay open. So, I've got to assume the bot is very close to a bingo. It's probably got another, like, maybe it's got, like, A-I-E-S-T left or something like that. But I want to try to you know, not give back extra bingo lines and maybe try to stop the bot from bingoing if I can, but at the same time, the bot's rag is probably good enough that it's often going to just bingo regardless, so I don't want to go crazy in my uh, pursuit of trying to block the board as much as possible. This looks reasonable. It's 30 points. I kind of like keeping the Z because if I am presuming the bot's going to bingo, which I think the bot is fairly likely to, then keeping the Z for possibly good scoring plays to come back with is... Not a bad thing. Doesn't really give back much by way of bingo lines. I'm not worried about sixes on the eight row over here. Like I said, I think the bot probably has most, if not all, one pointers and is going to be looking to bingo. So if the bot decides to blow its rack up for like 30 points there, I'm perfectly happy. Doesn't really give back anything that wasn't already there. It looks like a good play. I could also play Kiff for 30. Doesn't really give anything back either. In fact, it maybe makes it a little bit tougher for the bot to bingo. It would need to overlap... AI, but that's pretty easy to do still, right? I mean, AI takes a D and R and S. So either one is probably going to allow a lot of bingos to play. The leave after folk seems a little bit better. P-O-L-Z feels a bit clunky, so let's do that. All right. Not a terrible rack here. Maybe Zori somewhere. We'll see what the bot has in mind. Like I said, I imagine we'll probably see a bingo, but I guess we will see. I could have, another option I could have done last turn, I'm realizing, I'm not sure it would have been correct, is I could have played just Fizz, F-I-Z, through the I and A-I, which would actually have considerably reduced the bot's bingo potential, just because the only tile that goes in front of A-I is, is an R. So it would have been, been a little tough for the bot to overlap. So maybe that would have been a better play. Like I said, though, keeping the Z for possible responses to bingos has a bit of merit, especially since a lot of bingos are going to open triples or other big scoring spots. So I don't think my play was bad, but... Fizz would have been interesting to consider. In any case, though, let's see if the bot is going to bingo. It's been already thinking for about a minute, so that leads me to believe that maybe it's not bingoing, but uh, we will see. And indeed, the bot does not bingo. Just folky for 13, so getting rid of two more vowels. So perhaps the bot drew two more vowels after playing off two vowels? Very, very interesting. Extremely interesting. And now... I gotta decide what I want to do about this. So Folky takes an R, which I have. I can play... Yeah, I can play Izar over there. That's 40 points. It takes the front S for Sizar, which is worth mentioning. So that's not ideal. 
I feel like the bot is fairly likely to have an S after its first couple of plays. Not guaranteed, but fairly likely. So I could be giving back bingos there, including some high-scoring ones. So I'm not too thrilled about giving that back. That being said, though, it's probably just so much better than my next best option. Unless I save the Z again and play something like Poi, but I'm giving up 20 points immediately. I'm still leaving Folkies and Folkier, so I feel like I should just block. I don't have anything under the E in Folky. I need to start with an R, nothing that gets to the triple. It's not worth playing defense like this. I mean, it's just way too big a point sacrifice at this stage of the game. The leave is terrible with two eyes. I could play Zaire as well, I guess, but again, just not worth it. I'm giving up way too much equity. And uh, this is, like I said, if, if the bot has an S, it could bingo there for a bit, but it's not not exactly the most dangerous line. I mean, EST bingos could score, but bingos ending in an S actually won't score that much. And, all right, yielding comes down. So the bot did not have an S, we find out now. Very interesting. And I have uh, drawn very interestingly here. I pulled JQ out of the bag. And what am I going to do with it? No uh, no extra Q, of course, for Kayak, Q-A-J-A-Q, which would be pretty cool to play. I did actually manage to get it down in one of my Hasty Bot games from my first Google series uh, several months ago, but that is certainly a rare event and not going to be repeated right here, at least on this turn. Uh, what else do I have? I mean, I could just ditch the Q for 31, which honestly is quite possibly what I'm going to do, because... I don't have anything on the left with my J, and if I play off the Q, I have a decent chance to draw something that would give me a play there, like an M for Jam, R for Jar, T for Hotel. Like, there's a lot of things that would give me a nice play there with my J. Of course, if it stays open, which it often won't. I wouldn't mind blocking that spot, because it is a good scoring spot for the bot, but I just don't see a good way to do that. I have Zhao, J-I-A-O, but I don't think that plays really anywhere. I mean, it plays here for... Very small score, holding the Q. So not too keen on that. Yeah, I think I should just ditch the Q. This is not a good leave, but like I said, it has some potential to be salvaged with a good scoring play. In worst case, I can also just play Zhao next turn and get rid of some more stuff. So I think let's do this. Another O. So not exactly what I wanted. I have Pooja now, though. P-O-O-J-A. Not sure where it's going to play. In Collins, it would actually play here for a Mammoth score because JA is valid, but not in this dictionary, unfortunately. That would be 92 points, which would be pretty nice. Yeah, I don't think Pooja is going to go down, so... And the bot scores a lot. Sexy for 60. So do I want to just play Zhao here, then? I probably do. I mean, it's 20 points. It cleans up my rack about as well as I'm going to without being able to play Pooja. I can't really even score all that much more. I don't want to hold on to the J with something like this. I probably want to prioritize either bingoing or getting a scoring tile that's a little bit more flexible to try to use on the 8-row. And other than that, other than Azo, I just don't really have any good plays that would hold on to my J that I think would be justifiable. I don't think there's any way I can, like, set up Pooja in that spot, right? Like, I was mentioning it almost plays if J.A. were good in our dictionary, but I don't think, like, <laughs> I can try to set it up or anything. So, I mean, I guess I could also just play J.O., right? I don't know. Is that worth it, though, over Zhao? I didn't even think about this before, to be honest, because the leave is so bad. I feel like Zhao is better. Like, it's, it's 12 fewer points. Keeping four vowels like this is... Pretty rough. On the other hand, I could take the position that I am blocking that spot, which is going to significantly reduce the bot's average score, and I do still have Azo for next turn to shed some vowels. So, I mean, it's not the craziest idea ever. That leave, though, is, is just ugly. So it's a tough play to stomach. I mean, Zhao is not a very inspiring play either, though. Don't get me wrong. I still feel like with two blanks still out, two or three more S's for Sizars, I feel like I should prioritize trying to keep a more respectable leave and turn over more tiles. I think I'm going to go with Zhao here. That leave after Joe is just really, really hard to stomach. Yeah, still not a great rack here, unfortunately. An L for Parafoil would be extremely helpful, but probably not going to get it. We'll see. Not a lot of good options here. I have anything on the 8th row now, ending in 
the F, like Oath, but obviously I don't want to do that with L still to come. I just don't have a lot of words, so they're more than three letters long here. I guess I can play Fora. Well, not anymore. Bot plays Bond for 39, taking a 62-point lead. Now, I don't have a lot of great options. I have Oof, so I could play Fora over here. 30 points, keeps AIP, which isn't horrible. That's certainly an option. I could play Fa over here. I think four is better, though. I don't think the extra two one-pointers really materially help this leave, and I'd rather turn over more tiles, like I said, to try to go for the blanks and the S's. There's just a lot of stuff that's considerably better than what I have. Fa actually plays here as well for 27. Doesn't really make it better, but just uh, worth mentioning. It's a cool spot. Anything parallel to Izar's, like with Fa over here? I don't... I guess a far, actually. 32. Yeah, it's not horrible. So IOP versus AIP after Fora. I mean, IOP is a little bit worse, but not a ton. It also gives back a bit less, which is probably good. And saves overlaps like Poi on my next turn above Zhao. So this has some merit. Like, yeah, I do close the board down a little bit, and I'm at a deficit, but... I'm not at that big a deficit, guys. I'm going to be down 30 points. There's still two blanks left. There's plenty of opportunity to open the board on the bottom left. Like, I don't need to be panicking here at this score and really worrying too much about keeping the board open, I don't think. I, I don't want to give the bot a big play that'll let it turn a moderate lead into a nearly insurmountable lead. I, I think it's good to be a little patient here. So I think I'm leaning towards a far over Fora at this point. It is close. Oh, you know what else I have, though? I just noticed I have a Poria. That's probably better. Yeah, I mean, it keeps the F, which is not a great tile, but scores well, turns over a lot. I still have, worst case, hopefully, overlaps under Yiling for, like, 28 next turn as a fallback, and I play six tiles to go for the S's and blanks. Yeah, this looks right. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, well, I got a blank, which is obviously quite good. The other stuff I have is pretty clunky. Only one vowel. Down 30 points. I'm down a bit, but not a ton. I should be able to score pretty well with this, I would imagine. I can play something like Fab over here. That's 28. Keeps PHN blank. Plays do. So Fab is still available. Board is definitely pretty shut. But like I said, I'm, I'm really not scared at this point. I'm not down all that much. I've got a blank now. There's ways to reopen it. I think I can afford to still be patient. I can also score here with something like, I guess, half, 30 points. BF is pretty clunky. I guess, is this more? It's a few more. But that doesn't really, again, help me all that much. BFN is way worse than PHN. So for a four-point sacrifice, I think this has to be better. Looks pretty solid to me. Anything to this I in Aporia, I should look there. I don't think so. Obviously, I can burn the blank, but I'm not going to do that. Yeah, Fab looks pretty decent to me. I don't think I have anything good with the F under Yiling. Hoff needs two A's. Yeah, let's play Fab. And hopefully get a few vowels here. Okay, that looks decent. I mean, I have sevens, like keeping and helping. Are they going to play, though? I'm not so sure. Sizars is there. But I don't think have anything that will fit there. All right, Trout. It's a nice score by the bot. 35 points. Doubt I have like a 9 through this YE. At some point, I will need to open it up a little bit. Now might be a good time with a play like Genii, actually. Because, I mean, it doesn't score a ton. It scores 21. Opens some lines without being too aggressive. I think this is reasonable. Another thing I could consider, and it's this is very aggressive, but might be warranted, is to play Gi right here, setting up a rather big double-double line, especially holding a P. This is an interesting play. It has a ton of upside. Obviously, there's a lot of downside. If the bot bingo's there, it's basically GG. But if the bot doesn't bingo, then, I mean, even if it plays there and locks, it'll probably be giving me a line under it. And I have such a good rack. Like, I don't know what the bot has after a trout. It could have a good rack, but it could also have a bunch of Ts. There's still five Ts unseen. That was the first T played of the game. PEN blank is a fantastic leave. I should draw a seven. 
I would think well over 50% of the time. I think this is worth it. Like I said, it's if the bot blocks and doesn't bingo, it's not going to score all that much. And the upside is so high for me. Like Genii is also very, very easy to block. And PH is a little dicier than PEN as a leave. Has more potential to run into consonant trouble. I think I'm going to go with this. Like I said, it might backfire, but I feel like it's worth the risk at this point. At this point in the game, having this strong a rack. All right, well, I'm definitely going to have double-doubles if it stays open. Yeah, P-Knuckle is 100 points right there. Uh, might even be more. Let's see. It's exactly 100. Yeah, P-Knuckle, Pleonic, no place, but that's worse because it doesn't put the P both ways. And yeah, Eref. Wow, that's, uh, that's an annoying play. <laughs> Completely blocking because the V doesn't have any two other words. So yeah, that's a, that's a very annoying play. Lysopenes doesn't fit. All right, well, I guess... Anything with lean, actually? Hold on. Pleonic, Pinochle, no place. It's going to be tough. Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, what what am I even going to end in? N-E-S, and I don't have enough vowels. Or anything with, like, E-N here with, like, a D or an R? I don't see it. All right. So no bingos. Do I have anything from this V? Coven, Clove, Novel. Wow, I don't actually think so. That's annoying. I have anything to this I? E. coli is not good. Do I not have anything either to the I or from the V? I mean, I can, I can play Copen here just to score a little bit. Also, create some chances of opening down from this C. Like, I want to keep scoring. I want to stay within range. I'm... Within 62 now, which is totally within range, I don't want to end up being down 90. So, I want to make like I want to make sure that if I bingo, I'll at least be evening the game and hopefully taking a lead. Another idea which is interesting is confab. 26 points. I mean, it's pretty easy for the bot to block. That's the problem. Like the bot is just going to play through that C, and I probably haven't accomplished a ton. But it's not a crazy idea by any means. Keeps P-E-L blank, which is a good leave. I think Copen is good. It also creates another line for an S under leans, potentially. It does give back a bunch of overlaps on the bottom, but they might give back bingos on the row 14. So it's a complicated position. Copen is reasonable. Confab is reasonable. I don't have a strong feeling, I don't think, one way or another. Yeah, I mean, confab, like I said, the problem is it's not it's not hard for the bot to block in most cases. But I guess if the bot blocks, it gives me another chance to maybe hit something from the V, which would be good. So it's it's tough to say. Copen, like I said, does give back leans potentially for myself, hopefully if I can draw an S, as well as allow me to play from the C, which would be nice. I think this is better for the board long term. I just think confab gets shut down, and this will at least open the bottom more effectively. So let's do that. Wow, the second blank is here, but so are a lot of consonants. So we have no vowels, which is definitely annoying. I have an S though. So what am I going to do with this? I guess, well, if it stays open, I'll probably just have to play vowels to shed some of these consonants. There's still five T's left, but six E's. Hmm, this is going to be very interesting, because yeah, I'm not down a ton. I'm 34, but I'm down enough where I probably am going to have to bingo. That being said, even on this board, given I have two blanks, I'll probably, one way or another, be able to force a bingo to come down at some point. The question is more going to become, is Best Bot going to be able to bingo itself? Because there's still a lot of good bingo tiles, guys. There's still two S's, E's, T's, R's, N's, other vowels. So I feel like my best plan is going to be to try to keep scoring to stay within range and hopefully try to bingo in a way that doesn't give the bot a bingo back. All right, well, loan here has got to be the play now. I mean, gets rid of a bunch of consonants, scores well. I know it blocks, but I can honestly even hit a 9 from this IN. I can easily draw Invertase or something. It's not going to score a lot, but I don't even necessarily have to play it immediately. And I'm threatening to play with Sizars and Strau and Reopen. Like, I have two blanks here, and I can hit stuff with leans. This is fine. 
Come on, just give me one vowel here. That's very annoying. Yeah, because now I might have to I might have to burn a blank to shed some of these constants unless I want to exchange. Problem is, yeah, I might have to trade here. Now it's that, that's an annoying play too because it blocks well. How what do I do if I don't trade? Like how do I play more than one tile? There's nothing that would justify using a blank for. I, I can't even play like Viva without burning both blanks. I can't play to this I without burning both blanks. I'm not going to play Vest for like 20. That can't be right. I hate to do it. I think I have to trade here though. I mean, also getting a bit low on time. It's such a bad break, but I think I have to trade. I'm going to keep the M just so that it'll help Bingo score more. I think I'm going to keep SM double blank. I... Just hopefully I get at least one vowel. Oh my gosh. That's insane. Wow. It's like 10 consecutive tiles have been consonants. And the pull isn't even that consonant heavy. Oh my gosh. Wow. And the bot just bingos with hogtight. That's just insane. I mean, I don't know what I was supposed to do there. That's pretty frustrating. I mean, I have commons, but it's not going to play... I don't think there's anything else. We need to not start with the C. Scamony? No. Nope, I don't think so. So I guess I'll just play. At this point, I don't think I can win. I'm down way too many points. Unless I somehow open the triple triple, but it should be pretty easily blockable. So I think I'm just going to have to concede at this point. Just do something like this and maybe I can draw something from the C or something through the M and at least cut some spread. I don't know. Very, very frustrating game here at the end. But what are you going to do? Alright. A vowel. So I should have stuff from the C, right? I would think... Um, what would I play there, though? Clement doesn't take an S. Casement, Centrum, Centrism, none of those fit. Some, no. There's got to be something, right? Huh, I'm not seeing it. How about through this M? Starting like A-M-M -M or E-M-M. -M. Like Immensist. Mementos doesn't fit. Maybe I can bingo to the B. I don't think I can. Now, there's probably some crazy 9 through this YE. Maybe even through this XU, like ex exudement or something. Uh, exudation. I don't know. I don't actually even see a playable bingo yet, as crazy as that sounds. There's got to be one somewhere, but I don't see it. I don't know. I guess we'll see what Best Bot does. It's probably going to be thinking for a little while here with both blanks unseen. Alright, the bot has played Turves, so I can definitely bingo now at least on the top. It's probably something ending in men, right? There's got to be. Uh, what is there? Yeah, I just play Dust Men or something. Move on from this. Yeah, and say it comes down, and all right, I'm gonna be going out where yet for six, probably best. Yeah, toy on the left is also six. Tie is also six. So all right, I will just go out with yet, and yeah, frustrating loss, three sixty three to four forty one. This definitely goes to show you guys, you know, Scrabble is not about all about drawing the blanks. Like I drew both blanks, but. It really didn't do me all that much good, given that I was drawing no vowels with them. So, yeah, tough going there. We'll see if there's anything I missed that I maybe could have done better. Wow. Okay, this is... This, this opening decision by Best Spot is bizarre. Definitely not what I would have done. I would have... Uh, would I have done this? Maybe? I would have either played Ollie or traded probably two or three. I definitely would not have done this. Like I said, it's usually not... 
generally thought to be correct to play for four points like this with two vowels over trading, but maybe the bot knows something that we don't. In any case, uh, yeah, I think Folk is okay. Filk is fine, but Zip is probably better to keep on the rack. This is also reasonable. I sort of regret it a little bit not playing Fizz, just because it does stop a lot of bingos. But like I said, keeping the Z has a lot of merit as well. And the bot did draw two more vowels, so Folky comes down. Eyes are, oh, I didn't notice Epizoa or Piezo actually during the game. Those are reasonable. I mean, Piezo gives back a ton of sevens as well in the L column, as well as plays from the Z if the bot didn't bingo. So I don't love that. Epizoa... It's also reasonable, gives back some floaters, and it, it does keep the Folky Ear and Folky's hooks open, which amazingly the bot didn't actually have, which is certainly not what I would have expected. I still think Izar is fine. It scores well. The leave is not terrible, but at least the P is pretty good for scoring. Yuling comes down. Yeah, QI I think is about as good as I'm going to do. The bot scores massively, and yeah, this was a tough turn. I, I came very close to doing this, and in retrospect, maybe I should have, because the bot did get... A pretty big play over there. Interesting decision to play Bond instead of Bao for just five less points, ridding itself of the W. I guess on this board, EIND is just not that good a leave. Like, where is the bot even bingoing after it plays over here? And it figures the W can maybe score under sexy with EW or something like that. Interesting decision to play Bond uh, over there. But in any case, back to my turn with Zhao versus Joe. Yeah, maybe I should just play Joe. It is 12 more points. And I do block that spot. So the leave is bad, but it's not like the leave after Zhao is so great. AOP that maybe I should have just done that. I don't know. It's it's tough play to make keeping AAIOP when you're at a deficit. But maybe it would have been better. Here, I think Aporia was a good play. I saw both Afar and Fora. Uh, discarded them both once I saw Aporia. I do like turning over more tiles with, uh, with the blanks and seeing it sort of worked because I drew the blanks, but I just really struggled to get vowels. Fab looks like a good play. Bot plays Trow. Interesting. So keeping three con or three vowels, not wanting to just keep the extra consonant there for only a two-point sacrifice. I guess the pool is somewhat consonant-heavy, 31 to 16. Yeah, that's fairly consonant-heavy, so I guess that's probably the, the reasoning. I feel like I still would have probably kept the T, but there are also the two blanks in scene, so the turnover is very important. That probably factored into the bot's decision. Yeah, see here, Zap just doesn't accomplish anything, because this... This is a fishing play, and there's nothing to fish for here. There's nowhere to bingo on this board. Like, I mean, unless I'm thinking I'm going to just burn my blank with knives for 50, but I don't think that's a good plan when I'm down 62. I really like my play, honestly. I think it has a ton of upside, and it unfortunately just happened that the bot happened to have a great defensive play ending in the V that completely shut me down. And yeah, I saw Confab, like I said. I almost played it. I just decided, once again, that the bot plays through the C or something right here, or even like parallel to this, well, I guess parallel to the O would still allow me to end in the C, but, or possibly through the O right here, and just kind of completely shuts down this part of the board, and I really haven't accomplished all that much. I feel like with Copen, like, yeah, immediately I don't open anything other than leans, which is certainly hittable, not the easiest to hit, but I have options to play from the C, I can overlap on row 13, it breeds a lot of life into the bottom left part of the board, so I think it's not a bad play. And yeah, I think the bot here senses that it's got to you know, score a little bit you know, to maintain its lead, and it does risk opening, which fortunately worked out well because I had no vowels, um, so this looks good, and then I again had no vowels, and I mean, should I have done this? Maybe I should have burned my blank, like, I don't know, it is very tough to stomach exchanging here on this board down 60 points. Goodness, I mean, should I have, well, this doesn't even open anything, so if I'm going to burn the blank, I probably need to do this for 20 points. Like, that's so tough to burn a blank for 20 points. I don't know, guys. I mean, I guess this V here isn't, like, that easy to block. If it plays something, like, over or ever, I can maybe underlap it through that E? I don't know. I still have another blank to maybe hit Ed Hooks. Tough position. And, I mean, either way, it wasn't going to matter. Like, once the bot played Hogtide, it's GG. Mike looks fine. Yeah, Commons was there, but didn't play. Did I missed something here? That's better now. I mean, like I said, there's several bingos above there. It doesn't really matter at this point. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I played a bad game, guys. Just, you know, I guess I got the blanks, but I just uh, could not get a foul. If I had one foul on one of those turns, I probably would have had a reasonable play, not had to trade, and been in that game, you know, but it happens. So yeah, t tough game. Very frustrating game. It's, it's always frustrating when you have both blanks and Still can't win and don't really feel like there's much you could have done to win. But like I said, it happens. This game is, you know, everyone talks about blanks, and blanks matter. I'm not here to say that it doesn't, 
you know, matter how many blanks you draw, and drawing more blanks is not a good thing, but blanks are not everything. It's important to keep in mind that, you know, you're going to lose games that you play very well where you draw both blanks, and you're going to win games where you your opponent draws both blanks sometimes. You know, it's not just like, oh, you draw both blanks, that means you bagged your opponent. It's certainly, there's a lot more to it than that. Uh, and I think this game is a good example. I feel like I, I played pretty soundly overall. Um, you know, a couple of, like, maybe Folk was questionable to start. Zhao was definitely questionable. I maybe should have played Zhou. I do feel like I would have played Zhou if I had the position over again. But overall, I'm not unhappy with how I played. You know, no decisions that I think were terrible. And, yeah, just really got uh, got burned by some of those consonants at the end. But, uh, but, yeah, it happens. So, tough loss here. But hopefully in game number 60, we'll be able to uh, come back and uh, get a win. So, I hope to see all of you guys there. And appreciate all the support and all you guys watching the video as always. And, yeah, that's it. So, have a good one. And I will see you all soon. Bye-bye.